Okay, let's talk about the veins now. Remember, veins are carrying blood back towards the heart. And again, we'll do the uh, cardiac veins on a special lecture video. Um, but let's just kind of start from the beginning. You've got vessels that all kind of come together and drain everything above the heart and go into this big vessel right here known as the superior vena cava. And then everything under the heart comes up and falls into this big vessel right here known as the inferior vena cava. So the inferior vena cava is going to bring all the blood back from the body below the heart. The superior vena cava is going to bring all the blood from above the heart and the arms, of course. And then you have this uh, coronary sinus, which is going to bring blood from the heart itself back into this uh, right atrium over here. All right, so we've got the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. But then this uh, superior vena cava is going to come up here and it splits and it goes into a right and left uh, brachiocephalic vein. Now remember on the arteries we only had one brachiocephalic artery, but on the veins you have a right and left brachiocephalic uh, vein. And you can see that. So this vessel right here is your superior vena cava, then you've got your left uh, brachiocephalic vein that's going to split into the left subclavian vein, and then it goes up this way, and that's got, not going to be your carotid vein, it's the carotid artery, but it's the jugular vein. So you actually have two vessels draining the head. You've got an internal and external jugular vein, um, but don't worry about that. Just know it's the jugular vein that's coming down and draining blood from your head. So you go superior vena cava, then this would be the left brachiocephalic vein, the left subclavian vein, and then the left jugular vein that's coming down from the head. So this, this is actually same side, same thing. This is going to be your right brachiocephalic vein, your right jugular vein, and then your right subclavian vein. Then when you get into the arms, it's the same thing that we had. Um, if we get an arm vessel, uh, well this doesn't show the veins, but basically it all works the same. When you get from the subclavian area, sub under clavian clavicle, so under the clavicle, that's going to be your subclavian vein. Then when you get over here into the armpit area, that's going to be your axillary vein. Then when you get into the upper arm here, that's your brachial area, so that's going to be your brachial vein. And then your brachial vein is going to split into a radial vein, R for radius, and then an ulnar vein, U for under, okay? U for ulnar, under, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So you go superior vena cava, that would be your superior vena cava on this model, then brachiocephalic, it's on the left side, so you have to say left brachiocephalic vein, then it goes left subclavian vein, and then it's got left jugular vein. Then we get into the axillary area, and we're calling that the left axillary vein. Down in the arm, it's going to be the left brachial vein, and then that splits off into the ulnar and radial veins. Okay? Same thing on the other side. So be sure you understand that there's both a right and left brachiocephalic vein. All right. Then you get into the um, abdominal region here. And of course, everything's trying to get back into this big vessel here known as the inferior vena cava. It's a little bit different on the venous system because when you're taking blood from your um, abdominal organs, you don't want to just shoot that into your general circulation. So you have what's called the hepatic portal circulation system, that everything has to be filtered through the liver before we dump it back into the general circulation. So you can see these kind of purple colored veins here. Those are a little bit different. Those are part of that hepatic portal system. You're not going to need to identify those, but just know this. You've got a vessel coming from your stomach that would be right in here called the gastric vein. Then you've got a vessel coming from your spleen right here. You can see that one. That's your splenic vein. Then you've got your uh, inferior and superior mesenteric veins that are draining all of your uh, blood from your uh, colon and small intestines. All of those come together to, to this common vessel right here, which is the hepatic portal vein. It's a port to the liver. That's what hepatic portal means. So then all of that blood goes through the liver and is filtered. And then once it's filtered in the liver, it comes through this blue vein here in the liver, the hepatic vein, and dumps into that inferior vena cava. 
So things are a little bit different on the venous system in the abdomen. Um, everything else though is pretty much the same. You've got your uh, inferior vena cava comes this way, it splits into a right and left uh, iliac veins and then you've got your same thing as you go down your leg when you're in the femoral area it's going to be the femoral veins then when you get um, behind the knee it's going to be the popliteal veins and then you've got your uh, anterior posterior and fibular um, veins going on the front back and sides of your leg so it's all the same that way um, one other vessel that um, you, you see very clearly on this model here is the great saphenous vein. It's this long vein that goes all the way down to your feet. So what it comes right more? up the center. Do it one more time, sorry. The great saphenous vein goes all the way down from your, uh, it, it splits off right here at the femoral vein, because remember once you leave the abdominal cavity it goes from iliac to femoral. <clears throat> And so that's the great saphenous vein, and that goes all the way down your leg in the medial portion of your leg. Um, when you're doing blood traces, do not use that as a return route. You need to go the separate vessels. It is a return route. There's more return routes than there are uh, routes going down. So you have different ways to get blood back up to the um, heart. All right, let me make sure I've got everything done here. Um, I think we have covered everything, so thank you. Okay, I also need to talk about the renal and gonadal veins here. I forgot to do that. Your renal veins are obviously going to go to the kidneys. So there's your kidneys on each one. So those are those big, big blue vessels going out there. And then your gonadal veins are a little bit different. Um, you see the gonadal vein from your uh, right side goes right up and dumps right into the inferior vena cava. But on the left side, it's got to be a little different. This left gonadal vein comes up and it dumps into this renal vein before that renal vein dumps into the uh, inferior vena cava. So your right and left gonadal veins are different. Remember the right gonadal vein goes right into the inferior vena cava, but the left gonadal vein comes up and it dumps into the uh, left renal vein and then the left renal vein dumps into the inferior vena cava. And that should be it.